Hello and welcome to Worship Together Across the Diocese. Let's start with our, our greeting. The Lord be with you and also with you. This is the time of year when we think a lot about remembrance and remembering. So that's going to be the theme for today. This week is the week when we remember those people who made great sacrifices for other people. And that's why I'm wearing this poppy today, because this is the week when Remembrance Day falls. There's quite a famous quote which is sometimes used at this time of year, and it is, greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. I wonder if you know where that comes from or who said it, where might you find those words? Don't tell anybody yet, just keep it to yourselves if you think that you know and I'll come back to it later. This week we're going to remember those people who made great sacrifices. Does anyone recognise what this is or maybe even where it is? This is the war memorial in my hometown. There are lots of war memorials up and down the country. There's probably one in your village or town that might look something like this. If you look closely at them, they have lists of the names of the people who died. And on this particular war memorial, just down at the bottom there, under the name um, King's Own Rifles, it says John Benson. And John Benson was my grandma's brother. There may be names of people from your family on your local war memorial. On the 11th of November each year, we remember all those people who made sacrifices because of war. In the armed forces, there's a medal called the Victoria Cross, which is the highest military decoration awarded for acts of extreme bravery. There's very few people get the Victoria Cross and there've only been three people who've ever got it twice. And I'm going to tell you the story of one of those men now. His name was Noel Chavas and he fought in the First World War. He was a medical doctor and a captain in the army. Noel Chavas was about to be sent to France and so he wrote a letter to his father and in it he said, I am going to do my best to be a faithful soldier of Jesus Christ and King George. Noel Chavas put Jesus first. He was going out to be a faithful soldier of Jesus and King George. And he soon gained a reputation because of his compassion for his men and the way that he looked after them. He would often be found in his operating theatre during the day and then at night out on the battlefield with the stretcher bearers trying to rescue some more of the injured soldiers, dead and dying, who were, who were there. Towards the end of July 1916, he was in the trenches at the Somme and his battalion had suffered devastating injuries and death. And he went within 20 metres of the front line to try and rescue some of his men and he was twice injured by shell blasts and it was this act of bravery that um, resulted in him being awarded his first Victoria Cross. He recovered from his injuries after time and went back um, to the front line and he was at Passchendaele and at Passchendaele he did a similar thing, rescuing those who needed their injuries tending to. And it was at Passchendaele, which once again, he was injured, but he received his second Victoria Cross. And the commendation said that he got it for his extraordinary energy and inspiring example. Sadly, Noel Chivas died of the injuries he received at that battle. Do you remember at the beginning of this worship, I mentioned a quote? Does anyone know where that quote comes from? I'm sure that somebody must have thought it was the Bible and that's right. It does come from the Bible and they're words of Jesus. They're words that Jesus said just before he was sentenced to death by crucifixion. Jesus, as Christians know, is the ultimate example of self-sacrifice. Christians believe that Jesus gave his life 
to show us how much God loves us. He gave his life, as we say, to be an atonement for sin. Greater love hath no one that he gives up his life for his friends. Comes from John's Gospel, the Gospel of John chapter 15 and verse 13. And it's fitting that that quote comes from John's Gospel because the soldiers in the First World War were given copies of John's Gospel to carry with, to carry with them. And this is a replica of one of those Bibles. You can find many stories of the soldiers using their Bibles in the trenches and how these small brown Bibles became treasured possessions for so many people. Not only the soldiers in the war, but their families afterwards, as these were a reminder of those loved ones who they'd probably lost in the war. I want to just pause for a moment for you to have a chat with your neighbour about what you think it means to remember. What do you think it means to remember as we do today, those people who lost their lives in the war? And why is it important? Why is it important that we should remember them? Well, I bet you came up with some really good answers to those questions. And I'm sure it's something that you'll talk about more in class during the week. Do you remember what Noel Chavas wrote? He wrote in his letter that he was going to serve Jesus and his King. That sentiment of serving Jesus is something which is echoed in one of the traditional prayers that we sometimes use in the Church of England. It's the prayer of Ignatius Loyola. And I'm going to end with that prayer now. And as we pray it, see if you can see why it links with those words of Noel Chavas. So let's pray. Teach us, good Lord, to serve you as you deserve, to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labour and not to ask for any reward, save that of knowing we do your will. Amen. So I hope you enjoyed worship together today and I'll be with you again very soon. Bye for now.